These are the finished installation of the three bearings and clamps. However, the fourth one has not yet been attached. These holes do not have threads like the other ones do. This has to be installed after the smooth rods have been placed across here. So right now, you can attach these three bearing and clamp combinations. You need three linear bearings, three bearing clamps, and six M3 8 mm screws. Position the plate so the motor is underneath. The bearings are going to go in these openings here. However, right now we can only install three of them. Those three go here. And the fourth one that belongs here is installed later. You can identify these three spots because they have threaded openings. You can see the threads and the holes. And the fourth spot does not have a threaded opening. It has a sort of unique installation that we'll do later. So lay the bearings in the trenches. They should lay in there flat. You don't want them hanging over the edge of that trench. So make sure the ends are inside the trench and not hanging over the side. Now you'll attach the bearing clamps. And as you do this, you want to make sure that you position it so that you're feeding these little feet in first. They're going to go in the wider opening. And then it's going to lay over the bearing. Now it's in my experience that I can't quite push it all the way over. I seem to lift up the bearing a tiny bit and it seems to drop down. Place that bearing clamp for all three spots. Then you'll attach two M3 8mm screws to each bearing clamp. And make sure they're firm when you tighten them in place with the Allen wrench. Because I have two bearings side by side like this, it's not a bad idea to check the alignment before moving on. This piece is going to slide on top of the smooth rods coming out of the base of the printer. And it can be very difficult to fix the alignment whenever you're installing it, so I like to check it now. All I need to do is take one of the smooth rods I haven't used yet and slide it through these two bearings. The alignment should be spot on because it's cut out of a metal piece and there's really no room for it to be misaligned. However, it's still worth checking. If for any reason it doesn't slide through straight or it doesn't slide through easily, undo these screws and fix your bearings. You may have it hanging over the side of that trench or something else could be slightly off. Just undo the screws, wiggle it around till it settles in place, and then tighten the screws again. Because the other side only has one bearing, there's no opportunity to check the alignment during this step. However, we'll soon be attaching the second bearing, and then we'll be able to check that alignment.